Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Julia. Today's video is a very exciting one. It is an apartment haul. And if you guys are new here or if you haven't been watching my channel for that long, I'll kind of give you a little rundown about my living situation. If you just want to see the home pieces, you can skip to this time here. So I moved back to my parents' house back in March because of quarantine and COVID and everything. And given the circumstances, it just wasn't a good time to search for an apartment. But now that we're five months in and things have kind of changed a little bit i've been finally able to tour apartments just to see what's available so i will be moving hopefully in mid-september and i'm really excited to show you guys the apartment so in college i lived alone so i have a lot of the basic items like furniture pieces but i am buying some new living room furniture which i'll talk about in a little bit and then i also have a lot of the main kitchen appliances but i did buy a few new things that i wanted to show you guys also if you want to watch my old apartment haul and my old apartment tour i will leave those linked in the description box so you guys can kind of see the items that i already have a lot of these items are things that i've replaced simply because they were either broken or kind of dingy if you guys want to watch those videos i'll leave them linked below let's get into the haul so i'll start out with the things that i don't actually have on hand but i will just pop pictures on the screen and show you guys that way so i bought a new couch because my old one was very very uncomfortable it was around 300 dollars from sam's club the cushions were very uncomfortable but i did buy a new couch which is actually from costco in store it was cheaper than it is online so check out your actual costco to see if they actually have it because you could get it for a little bit cheaper but i did buy a leather couch and it's a three-seater it's a very light color which i'm excited for because my last couch was very dark gray and it made my living space very dark but i'm very excited to finally have like a quality couch it's very very soft and plush and i'm just very excited also for the living room i am getting a new rug so my rug that i had at my old apartment was dingy and gross and just needed to be tossed so I am buying a new rug from Ruggable, which actually is a washable rug company. It is so cool. My mom has three rugs from Ruggable in her home, so I know that they work and that they're a really great concept. So you can just throw them right into the washing machine. I am planning to buy this pattern, but I just think it's such a cool concept. So I'm very excited for that. They have quite a few different sizes and patterns, and they also have outdoor rugs. Big fan of Ruggable. <laughs> Some other things that I'm also going to be purchasing is a new TV stand. So the TV stand that I had at my old apartment is actually going to go in my bedroom. So I actually have it in my bedroom here right now. I am getting a new TV stand for my actual living room and it's from Ikea. Unfortunately, Ikea doesn't ship to my area. So I have to go to Minneapolis eventually within the next couple months and purchase it and drive it back home. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they have it in stock when I go there. Really hoping that they have it, but this is the one that I plan to get and I just like the really simplistic look. So I think those are all the items that I have to purchase that are like bigger items. All right, now we'll get into the actual items that I have on hand to show you guys. So first is this garbage can. It's just one that you push with your foot and it was $12.99 from Home Goods. Some garbage cans without the lid are just stupid expensive. So I'm not sure why this one was so inexpensive, but got a new garbage can. That's my bathroom, of course. And then I also purchased a new duvet cover. This is actually from Urban Outfitters. It's 100% cotton and it also comes with like a little tote bag. So I personally really like duvets because they're so much easier to clean than like a full comforter. This was $79, which I think is a little bit expensive. And then I also have to purchase the duvet insert, which will be something that I'll purchase once I actually get my apartment. It's a simple white duvet. I like the very minimalistic, clean look. So. All right, this is really random, but I got this Miracle Clear stainless steel cleaner. My appliances will be stainless steel, so of course I will need something to clean them with. This is just from Home Goods. It was $4.99. It's a lemongrass scent, which I'm not really sure if I'll like that, but it's just a cleaner, so fun stuff. I also got this Dymo embossing label maker, so I've seen the most aesthetically pleasing pantries and just organizational areas on pinterest and on tiktok of course but this is the label maker that they use it's just one that you like punch the letters on and then it's raised so this one comes with i think two black ones and a red one which i likely will not use the red I'm really excited to have a beautiful organized pantry my old apartment had zero pantry space so i'm very excited that I'll, i will actually have an actual pantry pantry organizational videos and things like that will be coming soon and you best believe i will be using Using this little embossed label maker. I think it was $9.99 from Target. Link down below. Another thing from Home Goods is this cheese grater. 
if you guys watch my vlogs you would know that i don't often cook especially since i live at home i just feel like i don't have a lot of my own space and when i come home from work it's already five o'clock so a lot of the times my mom will already have dinner made so i don't really cook for myself a lot here but obviously i will have to cook for myself when i live on my own again but i just thought this was really pretty it was $3.99 from Home Goods. Then this kind of matches. It's just a little silicone spoon, but it has this pretty wooden handle. And I actually didn't own one of these at my old apartment. So it'll be nice to finally have one of these to cook with. This is from Amazon. This is actually a rollout dish drying rack. So it basically like rolls out along the top of your sink so you can place your dishes that you just washed on there and they just air dry on the rack. My mom personally has one of these and she's had one for about the last year I would say. It's really a game changer so I did see this on TikTok so these have definitely increased in price but my mom has a fully coated silicone one and she got hers for like $12 and this one was $12. The ones that are fully silicone are definitely more expensive So I opted for the cheaper option. Next is this little plate This is white with little black speckles and then blue So I plan on putting this on like an entry table just to set my keys on or something like that This is from home goods and it was $9.99. It was made in Portugal This would also be cute for like a cheese plate or something I have a couple more items. So this one's going to be hard to show, but I'll kind of show a picture of them. These are just gold measuring spoons. So I used to have glass measuring spoons and a lot of them broke. I got these ones and it also comes with a little leveler. These are from Amazon and of course I saw them on TikTok. And then there's kind of a funny story behind this one. So it's just a little Central Perk Friends mug. And I actually bought one of these for myself quite a few months ago and I used it twice. And the second time I went to use it, I pulled it out of the cabinet and it dropped onto another mug and then it had a full slit along the side of it coffee was spilling everywhere so i had to throw it away my mom and i were at home goods and she's like have you seen the friends mug again because that's where this is from usually you can't find repeat items at home goods especially months later and we were walking through the checkout lane and they had one so it was like meant to be hopefully i don't crack this one but it was 4.99 from home goods how you brewing? And the last thing I have on hand is this rug, which is kicking up a lot of dust. It's just this little like braided rug. <laughs> oh my God. I thought I could go in like the laundry room or the kitchen or something. I also bought a black circle mirror quite a few months ago. This one I think was around 30 to $40. I wanna say I showed it in a vlog like forever ago, but basically it's hidden underneath my bed right now until I move. I have that and then I also have a white rug, which I bought a long time ago as well. I'm not really sure where I would put that one, maybe like the office area. And the last item that I wanted to mention is a coffee pot. I wanna buy a coffee pot that has like the automatic shut off and that has a whole programmed brewing setup because that's very nice to have when you work early in the morning. I will likely be buying this one. I looked at one at Target and I plan on buying it once I move because I don't really have like the space for it right now So those are all of the items that I've purchased so far for my apartment Like I said, I will be moving hopefully within the next month, which is really exciting I am so ready to get into my own routine again I'm just very grateful and thankful and blessed to have a full-time job and YouTube as well to support myself Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so so you don't miss those future apartment tours and cleaning videos and things of that nature. Those videos are my jam, so I'm so excited to finally be able to create them again. And lastly, don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram. I'm trying to post more content over on there for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon in a new video. Here we, here we go again.